wherever you listen throughout the world. It's football time in Tennessee. The coaches poll come out, and Tennessee is in the top 10. Matter of fact, number 10. Well, Bob, it's been a little while since we've been ranked uh, preseason in the top 10. Um, and I know that these polls don't mean a whole lot, but what it does mean to me is respect. You've earned some respect to get back into that top 10, somewhere we've not sniffed for a long time. It's very nice. I mean, I can tell you the last time we was preseason top 10 team, we might have snuck in there somewhere, maybe, maybe one of the butch years, maybe preseason top 10, I'm sure. Maybe somebody could throw that in there in the comments. But uh, I can't really remember on that, do you? Not off the top of my head. Um, I've blanked a lot of the last uh, decade and a half. I'm trying to forget about those days. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a little selective memory. You know, I remember a couple of players through there, and that's about it. I, I hear you. But it's really nice to be preseason top 10 and have a little respect there. Yes, it's about the respect to me, Bob. I mean, we are now mentioned on national shows in a good way. Mm -hmm. Instead of being uh, the highlights you see for other teams when they have a draft pick picked in the first round. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of those, unfortunately. Yeah, that's about the only time you saw the. I've been players. watching the draft just for that reason. I get tired I get of tired watching. Of yeah, the Bama and Georgia guys and whoever. Yeah, picking our guys up and throwing them around like rag dolls. It, it stunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hated it. But it's nice now to see ESPN talking about us uh, mm -hmm. all across the internet talking about us, our opponents talking about us. Yeah. So it is nice. Well, I'm going to say we're back, but top 10, again, way to go, guys. Earn that respect. Right. What really matters is the postseason one, obviously, but it's nice to be here. Uh, let's go over the poll, Tim. Okay. Um, Georgia's number one, Michigan two, Bama three, Ohio State four. Not surprised with them four right there. Maybe maybe the, you know, the sequence of those four, but I figured that was your – yeah, I think everybody would have thrown through that four out. Uh, now, the next three, LSU at five, USC at six, and uh, Penn State at seven. I'm not going to say I'm shocked by that at all. Um, I personally might have dropped Penn State down a little bit. Yeah, I think so. But I don't have a big problem with those. Good team. I just don't think they're quite there. I think they, they get a little bit of that same love that Michigan. It's a big team love. love. Yeah. I mean, like, hey. They're the only de other decent team in that conference, really. That's very good. Yeah, exactly. Current, currently, exactly. But um, you know, like you, I agree with that. Uh, number eight is this year's um, kind of media darling that everybody thinks is going to do really well. Florida State. Uh, nine is Clemson, the team we beat handily in the Orange Bowl. I like to just say that again because that feels good. Uh, yeah, it does. And uh, Tennessee, number ten. So that, that's pretty awesome. It is. And um, Bob, I mean, three of those teams actually got spanked by the Big Orange last year. Uh, when was the last time that happened again? Another when was the last time that happened kind of thing. Yeah. It, it's been a while. Yeah, it was nice to look into a top 10 and say, beat them, beat them, beat them. So, you know, Bama, LSU, Clemson, suck it. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. Um, Let's uh, look at the some other teams from the okay. conference. Uh, Ole Miss is number 22. Texas A&M, another team we play. A big game. Uh, uh, you know, big game. 25, they're ranked number 25. That team will either, I do not think they will maintain that position. They Either they will move way up that list or they'll be Completely. way out of that list. Yeah. A&M is everybody's Jekyll and Hyde. Do they uh, overcome Bobby uh, Petrino and Jimbo Fisher, that marriage made in uh, mm -hmm. hell. Is that kind of like Frankenstein and Frankenstein's wife on that right there? I don't know. Um, the talent is there. there. They are loaded. Technically, talent with, level right. probably goes in the top five. They are. I mean, but where they produced, they didn't last year. No. But now they're a year older. A lot of their talent is young. Yeah. So it, it, they're a year older. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, uh, South Carolina, the team we're going to get paid back on this year. And yeah, there's about, about 30 points. Uh, number 27, what would be 27? Yeah, it would be. Uh, the next team, we're going to smoke at Swamp, hopefully, uh, Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, hate them Gators. Uh, UT San Antonio, uh, one of the media darlings also for small schools. Mm -hmm. Good quality 
uh, program for for that level. Big time offense. Yeah. Uh, okay, seventh know. year quarterback, by the way. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. And uh, they're 29. And then, seventh year, wow. And then like, Kitty Cats out of Kentucky is down sitting at what would be 32. Yeah. So, yeah, not bad. Um, you know, there, there's good teams there. And several of those teams have opportunities to be in the top 25 whenever we play them. Yeah, until we knock them out. Right. Uh, the conferences, you know, the Big Ten had four yeah, of the top 25. Yeah. Three in the top seven, four out of the top 25. Right. I mean, the, the top uh, seven was all SEC and Big Ten. Yeah. You had ACC coming in there at eight and nine to spoil the party, and then Tennessee finished that mm-hmm. out. SEC with six teams in the top 10, uh, 25, I mean, and uh, ACC with three, and Big 12 with five. That's and, respectful. Yeah, that is. Uh, two of those teams will be in the Southeastern Conference next year, though, which put us at possibly seven or eight yeah. teams in the top 25 next year. Finally, and then the pack, though, has four, which well, those teams will probably be somewhere else. Yeah, they'll be somewhere else. They'll probably split between the Big 12 and the most likely. Big 10. The only team that might still be in our might be Utah, maybe, or, or no, who knows? No, you tell that. It, it's, who knows what that, what that situation will look like here very soon. Yeah, um, may not be a pack by next year. So may not be, be, actually, yeah, that's true. So anyway, man, just fantastic to see Big Orange in the top 10 again, um, popping that Big Orange out, baby. That's right. Hopefully, uh, the preseason, I mean, the postseason poll will be much higher. Oh, yeah. You just drop to zero. Drop to zero, yeah. All right, boys. All right, let's go. It's about that time, Tim. It is. Big orange, baby. All right, go balls.